Welcome back to the finishing line and this week our horse racing tips will come from Haydock and Ascot and so we get started with Azure Gate. Why are you looking at me? Okay, no one wants to talk about one of the games and... and ah look, he's done it before like so. It's just this. a mess though, I think, I think what's coming out now is like he turned around and he's like, oh I told the BHA he wasn't running. But the whole thing of he said he wasn't running and then when they contacted him later in the week he was like oh, I'm actually thinking of running again like you can't say he's not running take him out a bit and then oh look he's not out like there are certain people who have deals with bookmakers and they do they do blogs with them like Paul Nichols I mean I don't think Paul Nichols Paul Nichols definitely doesn't write that blog it's, there's obviously a ghost writer but I would say even Harry Darren probably gives him the I'd say gives him the info for it right yeah yeah but like Paul Nichols is fine for that because he's like, this is what I'm doing with my horses. Some people are fine with that. Some trainers are good for that, some aren't. Nicky Henderson definitely is not. No, poor Nicky is not good with social media, God bless him. Yeah. It'd be like doing one with Willie Mullins. I know, I think he does one, but like, they get him off on the day before. I mean, like, imagine asking Willie Mullins why he was going to run like a week before. He'd it, it, probably tell you the dog. It, she wouldn't have a clue. Up, Nicky, like... I'm not going to call, I'm not going to come in and defend Nicky. I'll just tell it like it is. Like, he's been there and done this kind of thing before. Like, he did it with binocular um, a couple mm. of years back. He went um, special treatment that day. And it was, and like Tom said, like he said, I wasn't going to run him. I had to let the owner know. And he let Unibet know. And then a couple of hours later, he's like, it all came out. But he said, oh, I let the BHA know at 9.15 before I rang the owner. But then he was like, oh, I might run him actually. So it was all, it was very dodgy. Like. I don't think he knows what he's doing himself. It was he very dodgy. He gets himself up in too much of a muddle. It makes him look like he's, he's doing a bit of dirty dealings, but the it's way he, off. the way he was Saturday, he was kind of visually upset about it when they, when they were interviewing him. So I'd say it was just a big of a, a bit of a mess up, mm. but he needs to kind of do things a bit better. He might need his personal assistant so to he's probably, he's probably do something in, for him. In a generation where social media wasn't social part media of it. Yeah. Hard. Where I, he just talks before he thinks. Yeah, I can see what he's. I can see what happens though, because like trainers, you either get trainers who are like, right, we're going here, and this is our plan, and I'm sticking to it, and that's it. Or you get trainers like Nicky or like Willie who are like, right, the day before, what will we do? Mm. But like, I trained a couple of point to pointers, and honestly, How's that go? a couple of winners. Yes, yeah, Tom. Yeah. Um, but you come in and like you'll go into a horse one day and it might have worked bad the day before and you'll be like oh I can't run it the weekend and you're coming in hoping that it's going to look good the next day and if it shows you something for the next two days you'll say oh maybe I can run it so I completely see I don't think it's dodgy at all like he's not trying to put people away on purpose no I, he's, I totally agree I can completely see how like what his mindset is he's not trying to put people away does it suit to be in put with a a bookmaker's column does that make it look bad yes it does but I I, I don't I don't think it's, he's not trying to put people away basically. all it takes is one person in the yard as well that's like not like, or working in the yard and not supposed to give away information but all it takes is one text message into a group Altior's not running back blah 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 like he don't know is as he going to control everybody's phones all the time it's, it's not going to happen yeah. so like that's all it takes and then automatically straight away he's the one that looks bad so but apparently that drift as well happened on Altior when, like before any BHA stuff, before any Unibet stuff, it was when he, apparently what happened was he came out into the yard and said Altior didn't go out until last lot, which apparently he doesn't normally do that. So there were concerns about him, obviously not daily routine, and that's exactly what it is. It's lads in the yard, they're on their phones, they might not be on Betfair themselves, yeah. but they've got someone on Betfair um, and the horse drifts. That's How, what that's what happened. However, it didn't work anyway because Frodo on wood. Yes. Right. Back so on to Andy the Frey, Yeah. We're going back to the right. Were you were you giving it? Were you giving it the go on B? Oh, Please I'm tell not, me. No, no. no. Did you look like Nicholas? Right. I, on I, B. I said it's right. B. She's a point and shoot merchant. She had three rides at Kempton. And she, the, all of them were front runners, <laughs> and two of them weren't front runners. She just put them out in front and let them front run. <laughs> But Frodan's a front runner, and I knew as soon as he started jumping three or four fences, he was back to himself, and the trip was perfect for him as well. He's not three mile or two mile five, two mile four. Job done. We done. He's not gonna. He's not gonna win a right now. I backed him last time. I'm gonna back him again. 
That was one of the worst blind errors in history. It was, yeah. In history. That's because you didn't back the winner. It wasn't no. a proper grade one. It doesn't also. bother me in the fact. You were full sure on the soul was going to win again, probably. You love him. <laughs> we can get on to him today. <laughs> uh, he's not going to win it right now. He won it last year. He said that last year as well. A match bet. He won. You're so full sure that he's going to win. But can't win a match bet now. Field. Right now. Right now. No, I need to see what's wrong. Throw down against a Plutad. Oh. And Plutom is going to be running. I don't know. I did still think he could go did champion you think chase. I was going to be running. I thought he was going to win then. I was like, I finally got you on board. You could go with a champion I'm, chase. I'm By the way, guys, I haven't been on this since Christmas. No, 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 no,
And to be fair, I actually he's six to one. I it's not a bad price. I like him mm. a lot. He could go off. He could go off five to two, mm. five to four. I I actually do like him a lot as well. I think he needs more than more of a trip than he had the other day. Um, obviously he won, but some of the horses in behind now. I think we're giving a little school around. We we'll probably talk about that in a minute. Um, but uh, it's a, either him or educational rights. Yeah, <laughs> well, the educational rights. Uh, it's either him or Champagne Classic. I think the top of the market is going to win that race. I'd say. I'm all over carefully selected for National mm. Chase. Oh, I think he is tailor made for. It. He's slow, jumps well. He jumps economically enough that he's going to get a breather every time he jumps. He looks after himself and he goes that pace that looks ideal for Look, a four miler. The, the same jockeys win it year in, year out. Yeah, Patrick Mullins with Willie's horse, uh, De- Derek O'Connor, Jamie yeah, Codd. Jamie Codd. Yeah, Jamie Codd. Yeah. So you're, you're in around what you're going to get. I reckon when we do the Cheltenham preview video, we'll all probably tip carefully selected, I would say. Well, he needs to run in another race two my sevens or over. Yeah, he's so going to run, run uh, that 10 up now chase. Next hmm. farm. Finish top four in that. Probably when he'd shorten into what you said, but five to two. Yeah, I'd say so. On the day, I think he'd be very short. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, go on, so your educational ride, City Island. Yeah, City Island. He, like, he jumped badly the first day. He's obviously, <laughs> he's obviously they're sticking with Jason, which is fair enough. He jumped really well uh, on Sunday, there but he was back. he was never put into the race. He was just. Pulled so far back, he was out the back the whole way around. He ran on, then he came second, but he was going to come third. The horse that was coming second fell, took a bad fall. Um, it looked to me like they gave him a little pop around and get some sort of a handicap mark and see where they go. So, close brother shop. I don't know if he'll get into that. He might want to race again to get into that. I'd say. I think he's a handicap lot though, oh, waiting to happen. Marks, yeah. They, I don't know. I, they, they could easily they could easily ask him to run again to give him a mark. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I reckon after, he'll run again. Yeah, after his race the first but, day and then the last day. The but don't be surprised if he doesn't win again the next time. I'd be surprised if they make him win. So two mile beginners chase somewhere. Yeah, because he wants to well for. Yeah, absolutely. That's, like, but like a David Jones saw the Burley last year. And then, yeah. Finish sixth. Get into Bertham's. Yeah, and then I'd say. You could look at the Close Brothers. Cheltenham form won the Neptune last year, so job yeah. done. Right, eye catcher. So let's move on to that. Tom. You're right. going to love mine, lads. Oh, don't tell me it's a flat horse running around on dog tomorrow. It's a flat Friday. horse running oh around my God. Walk. He's entered on Friday. So he won't run till next week? No, he won't run. Well, I hope he doesn't he run, run for Exactly. Um, John McConnell, the horse of John McConnell. Look good. at the mark. I don't, oh, my God. Make Go on. Go on. <laughs> Horse John McConnell's could That's make not. good, right? Just go back and watch his last run. He just he stayed on very nicely. You don't know when he goes back and watches these horses. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does, like. Um, John Boyne for 14 grand in September. He's had two nice races. 14 for grand down the drain. <laughs> after. <laughs> I've never seen that again. Lads, sorry, did you, no, did you see Le Pilly the other day? Who? Le Pilly. After about a sixth attempt to win? Uh, fourth attempt. They backed the shit out of it, don't yeah, so. They backed the shit out of him every single time. Uh, That's because of you, Tom. Mm. Mm, I don't know. I don't okay. know. I don't know if he was getting a few educational runs uh, a few times, but anyway. But this horse, anyway, made good. Stayed on hands and heels from out the back. He needs fervor. He's got him entered again over a mile now on um, on Friday. He needs a mile four at least, minimum a mile four. Um, he won over one mile six at Nottingham in July off sixty. Um, he came over to Ireland off sixty four. Two runs. He's now down to sixty one. Um, wait, don't back him if he runs over a mile. Wait until he's over a mile or or two miles, maybe even around Dundalk, and he will win so when he's going to that trip. He's going to win over one mile. I keep saying yeah. that. I don't think he will. Even as far I look back at his form as younger days, and I don't, I don't, think, I don't think he can win over a mile. So yeah. there you go. Make good. you do bring some interesting ones in, Tom. I give you that. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. What is with you and Dundalk? I like it around there, yeah. They're, they're solid horses. Again, we need to go to Dundalk. We yeah, do I'd need like to go. To I'd say it'd be a good night out. Well, I don't even know where we're going to get that, but yeah, we need to go. Do a podcast up there. Dundalk. Dundalk. We want us in there. Dundalk, Dundalk, Dundalk preview. Dundalk preview night. Have don't include me for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's out. <laughs> Dogs after it. Bring Sean with us. Yeah. Oh, Sean's a fellow that goes to the gym. He just... Okay. He's a, everything, everything's a chump. He's a greyhound, man. 
He's a great home man. Oh, lovely. Yeah. yeah. Right, uh, Dave. City Island. He's definitely going to win win races. It's so obvious after the last day. Right, mine is. Oh my God, he's oh, actually shaking the page. A 10 year old handicap tracer who hasn't won in about 15 starts. Says a bloody mule. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> to be he's, fair, you talked up Big River last week and I backed him on Sunday. He didn't run on the race, you said he might run in it, but he did win. He did. And it was about his 15 starts since he won a race. See if I, I knew what he was going to do us. Right, Henry the Ramhead train horse. Oh. Right, this team. I'm sorry, just a comment someone left. You, you put a comment about owning a horse. It was on Twitter. Something about, own, yeah, it was on Twitter and you said about owning a horse. I used to be in a syndicate training with a horse trained by Henry de Bromhead and someone commented underneath, could have guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you wouldn't know I live around the corner. I'll be honest, if this is Penny Mushmar, I might walk out of here now. Oh, it's not. It's me and you both anyway. It's <laughs> Captain Le- Guinness. <laughs> Lemusny. I pronounced the second name wrong. He won on the last race on Sunday at what was on? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Owned by a owned by a Tremor man. Owned by Heather. But it's not owned by Heather, but yeah. It is owned by Heather. Well, that's who it says it's owned by, but yeah, it's owned by a Tremor. All right, okay. So it was his first run for nearly a year and a half. Um, got into the race, jump big, but what what the the way he won was very good. But what took me was his pedigree. Who's your lady? Ready for this? He's a half brother mm. to Grand Prix, uh, Gravier Schumbertan, Larishberg, and Scottish national winner Alco. This thing could have buckets, buckets in hand for a handicap. He only costs forty-five grand as a store. Yeah. It is pretty, pretty cheap considering. I imagine it's one or two physical, probably abnormalities. But, but Jesus Christ, he's definitely got ability anyway. This thing has ability. Do is he great? No, no. Ah, you would have sold me if he was great. Big chest, a uh, big bay horse. Yeah. The, two, big the, two chaser, lads, the two lads up front went off helter skelter because they thought they only had each other to beat. Uh, Rachel dropped him off the pace, put him into the race, turned in, and he took off. This t- to me, I really think this thing has a big handicap in him. Whether it be Chetman, Punchstone, Angel, wherever he goes, I'm on him. It's not a bad show. He might be up to Punchstone mm. actually. He's a nice horse. He's, he, I'd say he's a tracer uh, in the making. And you presume he's going to come off for that run again? Mm-hmm. He won't be in Heather's Colors next time. Guaranteed how much? Oh, no. He'd probably in JP's. He'd be sold to someone. For a nice profit, I'd say. Uh, right. So now we, we'll start. Rob, Rob, oh. Rob Kerr. You know those colours? Rob Kerr? Rob Kerr. No. You know those colours? You usually know shit like that. Yeah, but if he runs up around on dock, I have no hope. Then. <laughs> <laughs> no, the owner Rob Kerr, they own um, Natractalia Boo is one of them. That's not their best horse. What's the good? Yeah, horse? I don't know. The pink, the the pink and black. Poker party. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guarantee he buys. Them. You'd just be the, no, it'd just be the type of horse I know nothing about. He just he'd just be the type of horse he he'd buy. I'd say. I I love to buy. Can't afford. Yeah, Keep sure. doing a lot of. Yeah. Chris's well, dream owner. Chris's like. dream owner. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's him. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Right, so now we will touch on, touch on, we just get straight into Undersoul, whoop, and definitely decide. As I was saying, Undersoul, you're going to beat definitely decide. Right. And I will tell you why. You just caught me right off there. <laughs> I'm in a fucking pantomime next. Oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake. Go on, go on. That's not right. Go on, go on. Right. Definitely beat him at Sandown. <laughs> I will not be <laughs> Go on, go on, go on. It's going to take a while. Beat him at Sandown over one mile, seven and a half furlongs. And he was going to beat over an extra furlong if there was one. Now it's over two mile, one furlong. Definitely decide he jumped his best round ever over two miles at Sandown. Undersaw didn't jump great. It's going to be like a bog around Ascot. Deffy is not going to beat him. Do you remember? That was so dramatic. He sounds, he sounds like somebody on Twitter who does dramatic videos. Yeah. Do, you remember, <laughs> do you remember two years ago when you lost in the Ryanair to back out the flow and you nearly jumped out the window because you lost your life savings on under so and you were so certain he was going to win trebles, doubles, quadruples, yeah, singles. 
It's a two horse race. Defy decides should win. He's way younger and he's the up and coming chaser. I don't really What's have any. What's with this up and comer? I don't even have Why no more. Try to get everyone? I don't even have, really have any more to say on it. The only races under so wins now are the ones that William Mullins tricks us into backing the other horse and then under so wins. <laughs> it happens every year a punches town or some somewhere no, on the way. You just get tricked. And that's what happens. You just get tricked. Because Ruby's on the other one and oh look, under so is back to form. Yeah, because we're holding them up all year. But anyway, Defy decides to win. Right, under so. He's only been beaten twice on soft ground over two miles. Soft or heavy ground, right? Those two defeats were by Altio when he got beaten four lengths by him and a neck by Defi Desoy last time out. He's 12. He ran to an RPI of 170 um, against Defi. I'm with him. Yeah. I, yes! <laughs> I, I just think it's it's... I now, now look, I'm not, I'm not overly confident. I won't be having a bet in it. Ha. But Deffy, I think if Deffy was saved until a bit later, <laughs> <laughs> people are laughing in the window at us here. Come in, Ross. <laughs> Tom beat me for the first time ever. Um, Deffy, <laughs> Deffy was. If Deffy was saved to challenge a bit later last time, which you can't really do at Sandown, you have to you have to challenge at the last. Ascot's a bit of a shorter run, and he can he can challenge at the last. He's got that little turn of foot that'll go past him, and I just think if he did that a bit later on the last day, he might have won by one or two lengths. Underso is going to go out to grind it out of him, like he might just do it. The only thing, the only reason I'd go for Tom, Underso, Tom literally just said the reason why Defy Desai is going to win and he's still going for Underso. So I just don't understand what is going on here today. But I think it's a coin toss. I can see why Defy would win like that. Tom, but but Underso is 13 you, to 8. You literally said about Sandown. That's why he didn't win that further. That is why he didn't But it's going to be way softer and they're going to make more use of him. Look. They didn't make enough use of him at Sandown. I don't know what he's it is. He's going to grind him into submission. He's going to make him cry. He's going to ruin his championship. I just don't and understand. He's going to run into Ryanair, Ryanair, and then he's going to ruin Tom's. I don't understand Tom's what Sorry. what your issue with Defy Desai is because you never liked him as a juvenile hurler. You were shouting the odds then the year after when he was terrible and Philip Hobbs didn't have like four winners all season, and you still just don't like him. You are. You just would everything. You you backed against him every single time last year. I give and you I, reasons why. I don't like this like the horse. You do. You, don't. You, you don't like him. You hate him. Like you him. hate him. Do you think he's thick like Sam Crow? <laughs> and he's not. Poor he's not Sam the best Crow. jumper in the world. He's. A, I hate the front. I'm done, merchant. He's I'm sure going to get done first. Mm. And he was 20 yards away from getting done at Sandown first. I, do, I just can't understand. And Garrity is going to need that kick to get near him. You're so he's hard up. To, it's, you're it's so hard up. You're so out. hard up on Lost in Translation, and you just you hate Effie Desai, and he just kept beating Lost in Translation. Lost in right? Translation's over. That's done. That dream's gone. Says yeah. Percy. All right, Percy. Yeah. Dream's gone. Says Percy. Percy ran a nicer race than he did. Oh, was that uh, no, 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 Effie oh. Desai is going. I, I, do you know what? He owes me three. He owes me four. You owe me four. Well, he owes me three. Do? do you want a match bet? No. Do you want a match bet? Have what? Underso and Defy. You've got to. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not. So I'm not you're confident. going to owe me five and Jesus, Tom owes me three. <laughs> I'm saving money here. Look, Underso is going to try and run the finish out of him. Whether Deffy has that kick at the end, I'm not sure. The only reason I'd go for Underso is he's 13 to 8 and Deffy to saw is 4 to 5. Uh, is the price is the only thing here. And for stats, man, stats, man, O'Keefe, uh, Underso is still rated hurting. 170 to 166. I did say Deffy is, is an up and comer. He's an up, up and comer. He's not an up and comer. He's not an up and comer. He's there. You know what he is. Can I just put this out there that I actually fancy nothing this weekend? What? Wow. Really? Yeah. I don't really fancy anything. Do you want to leave? <laughs> <laughs> I just sat out there. I considered it. I was like, is there any point going in? But then I've got a nap, so I said, I'll, I'll bring that one in. Like, you can't lie. Like, this is. Kind of, we're trying to get people to watch them. Nothing to, yeah, I know, but like, there's not. No, well, I prefer. He doesn't not, fancy anybody. He fancy something. Don't dog rate sixty. I prefer the honesty. I like that, Tom. That's what? Well, no, perfect. Just trying to see what. Well, I, I actually now. text Andrew. No, he's rated lower than that. Oh, Serious. God. I text Andrew this morning. And I said I actually like this week's Andrew race, and I think there's money to be made. Very good. I hope you're all right. Uh, Roy, the new one, you and you bet harder. Okay. I love him. He was good. 
He was. He was. He was, he was a great horse. Um, like, but this is the point, right? This is an awful race to bet in again. Yeah. What do you back here? It's, it's not. It's Pentland Hill, more or less, make or break your champion. Do you, hurdle, do you back Pentland Hills at six to four after him stopping like he got shot the last day? <laughs> do you back Ballyandy, who has won one out of his last twelve? No. Do you back Call Me Lord, who was hanging all over the place the last day? Like, what do you back? Cornerstone yeah. Lad, do you take that form as literal? I don't know. Right. This, uh, this is the, the thing. Uh, the only reservations I have about this is, is that Haydock, and it's very deep ground to Haydock. Haydock gets super, yeah. super heavy. And I hope the two horses go on it. It's the horse in the Supreme Trial and Pentland Hills. Pentland Hills surely is going to win this. You, you are full up on the juvenile form from last year. You really like Course of Blind Boaty. I don't um, like horse of He loves him. I don't know. I don't like horse of mine. I don't like that. Um, yeah, Pendlin Hills, Pendlin Hills surely wins this. Uh, even Nicky basically said he's he's oh, yeah. the best hurdler he has. Nicky Henderson's house. Well, look what you were discussing. That he's an honest Christ man. The... The, I, right. Stop now. It's a double for me. Oh, Jesus I'm Christ. a double for me this week. Him and him and Deffy decide. No, 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 not back in Deffy decide. I, I have a match bet with Andrew. I don't know. Uh, him and the horse in the Supreme Trial, which we yeah, we know what that one is. Oh, yeah. um, look, the one I'd give a little shout out to there is to keep an eye on if he runs is a Durasso. Thought um, you didn't fancy him. No, I'd, I'd, I'd be interested in him if he ran. It's very quick to cut short people down. <laughs> If he ran and he was six to one and there was eight runners, would I back him? Yeah, probably would actually. Yeah, I definitely would. Um, well, you just took the words of him. Also. Good. Going. Yeah, he's good form in France. He then won a grade two and a grade three in Ireland last year. Um, very interesting if he turns up here off a 306 day break. If Joseph wants to bring him over and run him, I would. Yeah, I'd be interested in him. Yeah, what Tom said. I Six to four Pentland Hills, you can keep it. You can keep that price, and then there's question marks going at the next three in the market. Bally Andy, God only knows. Like he's nuts, isn't he? He throws mad. in a good run and a bad run. He don't know what he wants. I know he's he's moody, like you. Oh well. Uh, call me Lord, as Tom said, hangs, just just hangs. Cornerstone, Cornerstone lad. lad. As do you take it literally? No, Probably not. No, he stole a race. I don't no. think you can take it literally. Not until he does it again. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, right on to here at one thirty. And uh, I've got one, got one, got two, two interesting horses in this now. I suddenly, have not fancy anything to have two interesting ones. Well, there's one coming back in trip that was clearly outstayed last time. Yep. <laughs> what? He got, See an eye catcher back then, has he? He got, he got beaten pretty badly. He's one of your eye catchers, hasn't he? He got absolutely <laughs> trounced. Um, oh. He's, he is actually interesting in this Windsor Avenue, back to two mile four. Concerned how much of a hard race he had the last day, though. No? Two mile four heavy, and, and heavy ground up at the northern track, he probably is the one that will win. Northern track. That northern form is good, lads. <laughs> Solid form. If you Mr. Fisher this, runs well around Haydock now as well. Sam mm. Brown, if he turns up. There it is, Sam Brown. Oh, I was impressed. We're, uh, Surprised you don't really like Anthony, Hon- Anthony Honeyball. Oh, I don't care what trains, as long as they're good. He likes him this season. I like him this season. He's like doing him. well. Yeah, he's doing well. He was after 750 days when he won mm. the last day. And I, I, was, I was thinking like, okay, that was around Lingfield. That probably wasn't the greatest race. All of those horses are rated in the 130s behind him. They're not bad horses. And he absolutely bolted up. Ran to an RPI of 149. He's now rated 148. Yeah. Um, what did he do by 20-odd lengths? 22 lengths. And he made a balls at the short last as well. Anthony Honeymoon stayed with his oh, flying, right? If, now... You know, I think for this race, you want you don't want something going from two mile up to two mile four. You want something that you know stays the trip. Um, and he is the one for me now. He could bounce to the moon and back now after that run, but hopefully he doesn't. I totally agree with Tom. Okay. Yeah. It's right. taken a while that you're on board. Yeah, it's two today. <laughs> <laughs> it's two. Right, so now we go on to the Supreme Novice Trial. Right, 205 at Haydock, Supreme Novice Trial. Dave, you are absolutely have a hard on for this. Edward I'm Stone. all over this Edward Stone. I'm saying the. You're, oh, sorry, what's well, the guy who watches this with his family going to say about that? Oh, poor chap. Like awesome. the guy who must sit his kids around and like you know. We got slated last week. Everybody commented in, just turned, watched it with headphones like, or something like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like it is no. Like, really now, kids, 
No kids, I'm going to put YouTube on the telly and we're going to watch our horse racing betting podcast. Hit him, hit him with the earmuffs. Earmuffs. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's, kids, Andrew's kids walk around permanently in earmuffs. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I'm all o- over Edward Stone. I know for a fact you're going to tip Marie's Rock and it's typical Andrew Horse because it was impressive in the way it won the last day. But last be- voice. Beaten uh, rag mares that you would, you would beat Right, <laughs> if you went out around Tremor now and jumped a few hurdles, you beat him. Right, What's Edward. The of back the winners lately? <laughs> Edward Stone at a couple at the weekend. Now look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Edward Stone <laughs> is uh, is the other horse I'm interested in. The Supreme with the two Irish horses. He's the best of the English horses. His form it stacks. Not, I guarantee you for his a form, fact, Phil on the roof will whoop him again. His form stacks up. Um, we we we'll have a little match about not chat him again. His form stacks up uh, after beating Fiddler on the roof, who then went on to win the grade one. Um, his bumper form was good against Sh- Sh- Shantry House. And the uh, other day, he bet another decent horse, um, Harry Senior of Colin Tizards, who got withdrawn the other day. He lost the plot and ran half the track and then hurt himself. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's going to win this. It's a good race, though, nice. if they all turn up. Uh, Marie's Hawks going to win. Yeah, typical Hunter Hawks. I'm all over the place in this race. I'd, uh, Edward Stone, I think Fiddler on the Roof has improved since he beat him. Thank you. But why can't Edward Stone have improved? He could have. That's the thing. Like he could, he could have as well. I, I just, I think maybe Fiddler on the Roof has improved. That's not to say Edward Stone hasn't. He's the most likely winner of this race, I think. Um, Tom, yes, Tom. not a hundred percent sure. On you the are form. Tom. You're talking some, yourself out of it. Some of the form is a bit mm, in and out with some of the ones in behind. Marie's Rock was visually very impressive. A lot of the time, lads have said. You know, it was a good time as well. She beat nothing, but you're just going on a visual performance, I think. That's what I do. Um, Would you back Dolcet or Marie's Rock? Who? If they're in a race together. Oh, Dolcet. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. true, Marie's Rock, then you know what you're talking about, Tom. Good man. Any day, any day. Where's Dolcet in this? What? I'm lost. Dolcet is going to win the Mayor's Novice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not the Mayor's Novice. Riddle. This isn't the Mayor's Novice. This is the 205 I hate off in the middle of January. Cop on. It was like you saying bolt against, I don't know, the lads that run marathons the last day. You just saw her sprint away from the last order. That's all you saw, like. That was one, wasn't it, though? The race she won first time out, the second has been placed, beaten a nose, and the third has bolted in the time after. The form is there. Back in your little box, my man. Form. Mayors. And? Mayors. And? Don't like mares. Okay. Look, there's, there's, no more, there's, right there's more runners in this race, lads. Ribble Valley went to Ascot with a massive reputation coming down from those good northern <laughs> tracks. Oh, never going to Scotland. <laughs> but he got well beaten by that master debonair, Colin Tizards, who I think is a pretty good horse. Maybe one of the better English ones, I think. Um, he's not. He's don't give up on Ribble Valley just yet. He's he's probably a nice horse in his in his, in his grade. He might just mm-hmm. lack the top the top, top notch. The best thing about this race is the name of the guy who owns the Bannockin Rebel. What's his name? His name is Sir Chips Keswick. Oh, you absolute hero. Is that the best name you've ever heard? I, I just, why, what are we talking about anymore? Like? <laughs> Chips Keswick, and then to top it off, you get knighted, so you're Sir Chips Keswick. Who owns the Bannockin Rebel? Who owns the Bannockin Rebel? I think that is the best name of the world. I'm working on time constraints. If I'm <laughs> about Sir Chips Keswick. Ch- wow. uh, Chips, if you fancy having a horse with us, we'd like to get in. in uh... Do we train now? No, we're gonna, we, if we're going to ever get a horse as a podcast horse, we could. Chips could own 95%. Chips, of it. they have a few quid now. Come on. Chips could own 95%. We could own 5%. I'm sure Obviously we can manage that. Like 99, just <laughs> I'm up for that. I'm up for that. Yeah, I'm up for Does that. anyone out there who wants to lease us? Even 20% of the horse. Um, Tom will pay for it. We'll turn up. The finishing line would love to get involved and be great crack, yeah. Seriously, if there's anyone out there. Now, we can probably only afford 20%, but like... Less, I'd say. But sure, we get involved. Oh, your business. You can cough up the money. How we get involved if we can? If we sell, se- if we sell 75% in shares, we'd probably make a profit. So. Yeah, I'm up for that. <laughs> but no, seriously, if anyone out there is in horses and has a horse and they want to lease us 20, 20%, something like that, give us a shout. Oh, we'll do previews for you. We'll go make a lovely montage of them, put them on the channel. Um, There's loads of perks. He's interested in the Bannockin Rebel, but anyway, look, Edward Jeez, Stone. Ed, 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 Edward Stone probably wins. That's all that I've got to say. And then Maria, Maria's Rock definitely wins. Mm. Go on, anyway. 
Interesting race. It's fun people race. On to, on to an even worse race. Yeah. The Peter Marsh. Oh, you guys might be coming. Oh, if you don't oh, tip the same what? one, I'm tipping up. I'm going to not taunt you ever again. Who, me? Is it yeah. trained by David Pipe? Yes. No, I can't. He well, don't. I just knew it coming you can't. in. You can't. And I, I knew you were going to tip him as well. Yeah. Again, because he was like kind of impressed with last time. You're always back. No, no. He can't jump fences. He can't jump no, fences. He simply well, cannot well, jump I fences. I didn't say it. You said it. We're on about champers on ice yeah, here, by the way, not the other David Pike horse in the race. Oh, it was another one. Who cares? The Klondike? Nah, he should. But you can't jump fences. Champers on ice. He's only had four runs over fences. Like. I will literally Boy, be he, shocked. Yeah, he's the f- he, he's good, like, but he can't jump fences. It's yeah. just not able. The reason I was looking at him is if this was a, a hurdle race, I yeah. actually fancy. Him. Yeah, but this is a three mile hurdle. Oh yeah, a yeah. mile far. I'm in the fact that he probably is in the form of his life, and David Pike for the last. 12 years have been out of form. Yeah. It's 15 maybe. To be honest. <laughs> it's been nice. <laughs> he, might, he might, something might suddenly clicked. I'm on the hope that he is. Like, I take into account, yeah, the last three runs over fences were cat. But he's coming off two wins and a slowly run three mile race where he's staying on again to finish. He's in the form of his life. A20, it's not a bad each way bet. I just, he's the farm horse. Again, we're acting last to favour 32. She ran a stormer at Ascot last time. Looking like the winner jumping two hours. Definitely red. I can't have any another northern high horse. I think definitely red is the best chance to win the favourite. And I think definitely red has the best chance. He's, to win his, well. wins, his wins to runs ratio is very good. He throws Gosh, in the odd, again. throws in the <laughs> odd wobbler, but he will win a couple of races every season. And Why a lot of the time. A lot of Second the time, brought down fifth, fourth, fourth. A lot of the time, it's unexpected. His uh, fourth, the last day at Aintree was is after being advertised by Kimberly Candy coming out and winning last week. Um, he he got uh, walking the mill won that race. Who's becoming kind of an Aintree kind of specialist. Mm. And uh, Alpha Dezovo was third. Who's a decent horse over here? He always kind of runs his race. Oh, I think he's oh, definitely. Oh, no, no. I said something about Alpha Dezovo three weeks ago, and I got absolutely ripped to shreds. I put him up to win that ancient race after his over. For a handicapper, he's grandstand. Yeah. You probably tipped him at a grade one or something. Um, I think he's... Tipped him on the last year and like, you riddled me. And where did he come? He came second. The he's, the, he's the right favourite. And I think five or six to one is a good price for, for him, to be honest. He's big on that, isn't he? Who? It's five, is he? Seven. That's what yeah, well. He's as big as seven. Yeah. Acting last is in good form, all right. But she's up to 150 now on mm. heavy ground. So I think she's going to struggle. Um, definitely red showed he can run off this type of mark um, in the beach here. but he's 11 lads he's old I think that's what you need for a big staying handicap chase stop. They, you, <sighs> you need you need old horses who can carry weight um, prime ventures are an obvious one um, mm-hmm. but I'm a bit concerned that is going to come a bit too soon after a massive run in the Welsh National and the other thing with him is he doesn't win very often he's free out of 24 so I landed on definitely red in a race that lacks maybe a bit of class. I have to. I, I can see where you're coming from. A champ is a nice spot. He just doesn't jump well enough. I'd be. I'd be. I've like yeah. He's in good form and David Hype's in good form, but he just. He's just a terrible jumper offences. I I'm taking a chance. Yeah, well, it's take the chance. I well done. Might not. Now, well. uh, right. So next we'll head. Where are we going? Tardis on Sunday. Now on to Taurus and a grey two horse and jockey chase. Um, this looks like it could be an absolutely decent race for Sunday. We have Min. Uh, Hardline. Hardline. Kaiser Black, who I kind of... Give him a sneak in the chance. Are we agreeing on everything this weekend? What? I think if Min runs, he's going to be very hard to beat yeah. on the back of that John Durkin form. Um, Kaiser Black... He's been off for 315 days, but he was a good record when fresh. Mm-hmm. That race that he nearly got up against La Bagawa last uh, last oh, year at Leopardstown, he was that was his first run of the year as well. Could most likely go under the radar because he's trained by Pat Doyle. Um, wouldn't mind that at all. You know, he, he he'll have his chance. Um, his farm's not bad. A second to the bag of all and beats Camellia de Coppa 11 lengths. Probably, yeah, probably not a betting race unless the market's all over the place. Yeah. Unless he's 10 to 1 or something. Like you, you can only see Min 
our foot pad it or we one of between men reels seeing a foot pad only foot pads in it. Jesus, I missed that. Yeah. yeah. Pads in it. It'd be interesting. Two of them. One of them might be placed in the right there. I just had a bit of a. I had a look at Hardline actually. I just went through Hardline's form, and you know he was second to Min. He got really close to Min um, in the John Durkin. Like it was, he was pretty like right next to him. So they're pretty similar horses, maybe on that form. Um, and Hardline then ran at Leopardstown. And he fell, but he was getting absolutely tanked by who won that race? Oh, Plutard. Um, so yeah, I mean shock. Probably, probably gives a level between Min and the Plutard through Hardline. <laughs> so, just, just thing is, though, I'm around lads, it. save your money this weekend. You can still get six to one and get on. That horse will be five to two favourite. Yeah. I am in so far. I'm actually scared. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, uh, it's a decent race, but it's hard to know who will turn up. Um, I'd probably be... Whatever Willie Mullins' is first string, I'd probably go for. If Min doesn't turn up, maybe real steel. I fear if Apple will turn up. If Apple will turn up, run the right now, I fear for you. If it I doesn't fear, run. Yeah, I, I actually don't think he's going to run. I think he'll run the champion chase. I he do. won't. He didn't travel well Is he enough. entered next week in the double race of Festival and anything? Yeah, I think that's where they said they're going. Was yeah, they're going two mile race. Was the two mile race? Yeah. Wins that but there's time. nothing else for him to run in unless he ran in this, which I'm a bit now worried that he's not running in this. Oh, Tom, he's definitely running next week in two mile mm. race again. If he wins that, he's definitely going champion chase. He's oh, not. if he beats a Ar- Shaq and Borsal again, he's going for the champion chase. Like, why would you? Go, why would you go up? Especially if Altior don't run it. The blood is at the drain out of his face. <laughs> But he just, he was running around at Leopardstown. I know we didn't get to talk about that. The key, the key. He was off the bridle and I was like, perfect. He's off the bridle. He's going to stay on now. Shakan fucking didn't do his job. And (laughs) I I watched it, right? I was watching it on the couch and I backed him at 12s because we put him up. I backed him at 12s for that. And I had a few quid each way and thinking it was each way stealing money. And I was like, he dropped the second last. He dropped the last and I was like, Oh fuck it! I <laughs> just started roaring <laughs> from the wind. Uh, Altior, for your bet, Altior is the key, the key horse. Yeah, you want Altior to run it because Deffy is also Philip Hobbs said yesterday he won't make a decision till two days before, and it'll depend where Altior where Altior runs. Sure, Altior run. If trot, Altior trot out of the stable and back in. If Altior doesn't run, Deffy decide and Abutar will be in the champion the chase. They'll both be in the champion chase. Imagine he wins the champion chase then. Imagine, I'd cry. I, I actually would feel sorry if you. Yeah. <laughs> I'd make sure you're okay. But yeah. I'd be sat in work that day. I'm definitely not taking that day off if he runs. <laughs> See Tom at the desk like this for the day. Yeah. Real steel for me. I probably wouldn't watch it, to be honest. I'd watch him by him. Yeah. Might lie that he's yeah. getting up. Right, um, right, that's enough for that. That's enough for Turtles. Turtles. Naps and yeah. next best. Oh, shit. Sorry, Kev. Do you want to go? Uh, my nap is Edward Stone. Okay. Uh, my next best is... I don't really have one, to be honest. For a fellow that said there's a <laughs> lot of money to be made, you won't have to the weekend. Yeah, but I'm doing the double. Then my next best is the double. Penton Hills and Edward Stone. Pin me up with a double. Nice. You can't, you're the button up Edward Stone. You can't do the next best double with Edward Stone in it. Why? It's not ballsy. Mm, I don't know. I think one of those will get beat. Couldn't yeah. tell you which one. I can't. Probably yeah, can't. You know what? You know what? My next best is I'm going to go McGregor to win in the second round by knockout. This is a uh, horse racing podcast. Not I don't care. You fucking, told me. You told Joe me before. Rogan. It's ain't Joe Rogan. You told me before I could put up whatever I want. Yeah, that changed. He did, didn't he? I think so. Yeah. McGregor to win the second round. Which you can find we, full article we, on betterpin.com. <laughs> do so. we reckon McGregor will win? Yeah. Yeah. Are you serious? I, I know nothing about it. Oh, he's going to mangle him. He I just, end up, I just end up paying fucking 30 quid to watch it for the young lad to watch it. He was it. doing... Why don't you just come down to my house? He was being very, very bold in his last few fights and not doing stuff he was supposed to be doing and doing stuff he shouldn't have been doing. He's not doing that no more. He'll, or he'll win easy. Like. He says that. He he's will, definitely not I'm doing telling that. I'm telling you, he will oh, batter the head off to Donald Groh Cerrone. Too many women, too many babies around the place. No, he he's right, too. I'm living the high life. <laughs> Apparently that's not his kid. Did you see that? Who? He did a maternity test. That that young one. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly, yeah. <laughs> that young one in Liverpool. Apparently that's, no, that's not, not his kid. kid. No, it's not. No, he did a maternity not. test. Yeah. He's a fine fella. Surprised by that. I was sure it was his kid to be honest. He, uh, he doesn't know a fella if he wants to come on and join us. 
You're more than welcome. More than welcome, yeah. More than welcome. Somewhere. I've suggested guests to this podcast and I just get shot down all no, the time. You didn't suggest Conor McGregor. <laughs> I suggested someone we could actually get. Yeah, no. I have to get the thing about Bob so people running in them we can record. You have we to. could have got him in the studio this week. No. He's in Ireland. You're okay. Thanks we so want, much. We're aiming high. We're not <laughs> drawn in <laughs> out of the sewers. <laughs> no, I'm you that. that I won't go that far. Tell you that's it would have been a good guest. Go on, anyway, Andrew. Who's, uh, who's next? Nap. <coughs> Under Soul. Yeah, well, no surprise there. Surprise. Next best, Maria's Rock. Yeah, no surprise there. Maria's Rock. Right, okay, no surprise there. Um, so no surprise there, said the fellow. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're not going to be surprised. I think that's the right things after, <laughs> <laughs> There's not even anything to do with horse racing on this. <laughs> this is a like, shopping list. Highlighted in red. <laughs> I love lost in translation <laughs> over and over and over. Oh, man. Um, oh look, Lorena's on it as well. Look, you're, you're not going to be surprised with my one. Um, a horse of John McConnell's, actually. I'm getting this bad for John McConnell's, Andrew, who's for Henry Bromhead. But um, John's in great form. Five winners out of his last 11 runners in the last 14 days. He's got a horse entered on Friday at Dundalk or Sunday at Wolverhampton called Ocean Air. So when you've lost all your money on the lads' naps... Um, over the weekend, Sunday at Wolverhampton, you can probably back Ocean Air. Now, this horse, this horse has gone really well off long breaks before. Um, he's he's got ability. This lad, he's he's down to a mark. I think he's down to fifty two. Um, <laughs> down to fifty two. Adrian Bastofia. Yeah. Oh, really? Um, okay. Yeah. He's I down. just I seen the thing he's he has for the next Cheltenham video. He's down to 52. <laughs> and that's, that's what the shock in me is. I don't even care about this. I can't wait till next week for this. Um, oh, I'm doing that next. Oh, only, yeah, yeah, can yeah, I just sorry. say, the only concern with Ocean Air is the Wolverhampton race is a seller. So that's either a thing to put people off and get the price off, or he's running in a seller. A seller? <laughs> I'm not sure. And you gave it to me about Conor McGregor. I'll try to get this out, out of it soon. A seller? I'm sorry. A seller in Wolverhampton on a Sunday. This lad will win. You say that every time. Most a match bet. The field against, a, few a match bet. The field against him. Come on, come on, come on. The field against. Come on, come on. No, no, no. Aye, ah, you're, you're not. You're not brave enough. You're not brave enough. My next best is that Sam Brown at uh, Haydock. I, yeah, I like that one. Keen enough on him. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, so. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Losing Shane Tottenham. We're finished. We're we're finished. What's wrong with that for the champion? Mad things happen in that race. Champion Hurt. Lads, please come back for our next Cheltenham Festival video. Please. 25 to 1. I don't care. It could be 100 to 1. That's a good outro. I can't leave that. No. Begging people to come (laughs) back. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, so this is the end of this one. So as you can probably tell, we're going video on our Cheltenham Festival anti post video after this. You're going? Yeah, I have to go. Oh, uh, Dave has to go. But you have my selection. Do I? I can't yeah. remember right down before I go. We'll be quick. So again, that's thanks for watching. Um, for all the likes, the subscribes, all the comments, keep them coming. And again, we will see you next in our Chetland Festival anti-post video.